from The Telegraph, www.telegraph.co.uk. Newspaper rounds may breach children's rights, warns Strasbourg. Europe's human rights watchdog chastises Britain over children's holiday jobs, smacking and immigration policy. By Matthew Holhouse in Brussels. Children's paper rounds should be banned, European's human rights watchdog has suggested, as it rebuked the British government's treatment of mothers, migrants and travellers. Allowing children to deliver before school could harm their education and appears to be a violation of the European Treaty on Social Rights, it has warned. Labour laws that allow teenagers to work for 35 hours a week during the school holidays are too relaxed and put their health, moral welfare and development at risk, according to the European Committee of Social Rights, part of the Council of Europe. The body oversees the European Social Charter, a legally binding international treaty dating back to 1961, of which the UK is a signatory. It is a counterpart to the better known European Convention on Human Rights. In a sweeping and negative assessment, it said the UK should deliver an outright ban on smacking, has failed to guarantee the rights of travellers to housing, and said that immigration controls that mandate income and language requirements are too restrictive and prevent families being reunited. Under UK law, a child should not work for more than one hour before school and not start before 7am. However, local bylaws can be less restrictive. During the school holidays, those aged 11 to 14 should not work more than 25 hours a week, while 15 to 16 year olds should not do more than 35 hours. The committee said this violated rules on light work that demanded a weekly limit of 30 hours a week. A child should have a two-week holiday in the summer free from work, it said. Turning to newspaper delivery rounds, it said that allowing children to work before school begins in the morning is, in principle, contrary to the charter because it puts at risk their attendance, receptiveness and homework. It noted earlier rulings had explicitly outlawed two-hour paper rounds starting at 6am. The committee said it would investigate the situation in the UK further. British ministers have previously called on young people to take on part-time work in corner stores and coffee shops to teach workplace skills such as punctuality. The Strasbourg-based Council of Europe was the brainchild of Sir Winston Churchill as entirely separate from the European Union. Peter Bone, a Conservative MP, accused the body of meddling. The founding fathers of the Council of Europe did not have in mind paper rounds when they were talking about human rights. This is the problem with these Europe-wide bodies. They are so out of touch with the people, he said. We should just ignore this piece of advice. Member states are expected to respect the committee's conclusions, but does not issue formal sanctions. The report argued the current minimum wage for young workers aged 16 and 17 of £3.72 an hour is not fair. It also said maternity pay of £136.78 a week is too low and therefore inadequate. It said that Britain was not complying with the Charter by not explicitly banning corporal punishment in the home such as smacking. It said the committee has noted that there is now a wide consensus at both the European and international level among human rights bodies that the corporal punishment of children should be expressly and comprehensively prohibited in law. Parents are not explicitly banned from striking their children. The law allows that reasonable chastisement to control a child's behaviour is lawful. But parents can be prosecuted if their actions result in injuries such as bruises, cuts and scratches. The report also said that the age of criminal responsibility, 10 in England and Wales and 8 in Scotland, is manifestly low. The UK was also accused of failing to meet obligations on the rights of migrant workers and their families on the grounds that family members can be expelled following the deportation of their sponsor, without proof that they are a threat to national security or offend against public interest or morals. It said language tests imposed on relatives of migrant workers are likely to hinder family reunion. The income requirements for migrants who wish their families to join them, only those who earn at least 18600 a year can sponsor visas for a spouse from outside the EU, is too high, it added. And in England, the right of Roma and traveller families to housing is not effectively guaranteed, it claimed.